All right, this is our new Mega Trommel. We're removing 9mm from So I just pause it for a second. You notice that feed rate. I shut the hopper off and I um, shut the trauma off. Look at how little bit of brass is left in here. This is a 9mm bin. I'm going to continue to run it. I ran it with dumping it in with uh, just dumping it in yesterday. But I'm going to continue to run it. When I did this run test... At that feed rate, it took five minutes to do five gallons. Okay, this is the tail end of the brass. I shut the hopper off. I did uh, pause this for a bit so you guys didn't have to watch anything. There you go. All nine millimeters. I don't see anything got in there. And then there's the pile of 223-380 mix that I took out. And this was just about five minutes, five gallons. Um, I don't recommend running it at that feed rate. I really don't. Make it make it ten minutes, and I'm just saying you're you're a hundred percent plus a hundred percent, right? Better to have the mix right, so you can see. Pretty phenomenal. This trommel right here on the stand. I'm asking three thousand for it. You can get multiple trommels. I have multiple screens, so hit me up at ReloadingSystem.com. For more information, you saw my phone number there. You can call me direct. But I, I use roll sorters. It took me 40 minutes to do a five-gallon bucket at a 90% sort rate. Um, and 90%, and here, here it is. Proofs in the pudding. Two through threes down there. Um, understand that a roll sorter can sort more calipers, but for the bulk of it, Three of these for the same price of one roll sorter. It doesn't matter time-wise when these are piggyback, one's feeding the other. That's the intent of this, to have two or three in a row and uh, to be super fast sorting. But again, Wally from Reloading Systems, shoot, shout at me. There's my number. If you have any questions, we're here to solve all your sorting needs. Thank you.